All right, hi, Year 12s. This is Mr. Lim here. Look, I'm talking without moving my mouth. I'm going to show you how to do a titration. Okay, so that was there was the burette. This is the pipette. Okay, and so um, that's the pipette bulb filler. You need a couple of uh, beakers. You need a whiteboard marker. You need a burette stand, distilled water, pipette filler, whiteboard marker again. All right, and so let's get started. What I'm doing now is I'm marking out the beakers with what they're going to hold. One of them is going to be HCl, the other one is going to be NaOH. It's, this is useful because they look exactly the same. So it's important to have that marked out on there. All right. I'm making sure that they're nice and dry so that they don't affect the concentration. All right. So then I'm just going to pour out this. And this is where one of the lab ladies is just coming to talk to me about something. But we're going to continue. I'm getting some HCl. That bottle is very dirty and she's showing me that it's very dirty. It's all your fault that it's very dirty. All right, there's the HCL. And deciding what to do. I really should have cut this out. Doesn't matter. I need a new haircut. And I'm talking about something. And now we get onto the NaOH. Here's the NaOH. With those bottles there, you should open up the lid a little bit to let the air flow when you open up the tap. So the tap uh, twists and then you can pour the fluid in. So now I have HCl and NaOH. Right now I'm thinking about what goes into the burette and what goes into the um, pipette. Can't remember. Okay. So take my pipette bulb filler, put my uh, pipette in. Okay. So the idea is that you're not putting too much of the glass uh, part into the end of the pet filler, right? At the top there is an A button and you press and hold that A button whilst you squeeze the bulb and it releases the air out of it so that it can suck, right? There is an S button on the pipette filler, right? And then I realized that I needed a waste beaker, so I got a waste beaker, right? because I'm about to clean the pipette. Okay, so you need to clean the pipette with the solution that you have. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm half filling up that pipette. I'm pressing the S button on the pipette filler and that will suck a solution up. Right, I only fill it up to a little part of the bulb, then I turn it horizontally and then I rotate it to allow the solution to cover all of the surfaces. Then I tilt it a little bit more, I press the S button until the solution goes past the line. So I'm rinsing all the way past the line, right? And then I press the E for empty button on the pipette filler um, so that all the f uh, solution fluid flows out of it, right? Now, to get the last part of that solution out, you have to touch the edge of the glass against the um, glassware that you're emptying it into. That, for this case, that's the beaker. There's a little bit of uh, something is stuck in there. Um, I didn't know why, so I'm trying to get rid of it, but that shouldn't happen to you because it should be nice and clean. Um, and so that is emptying out the pipette. So now that pipette is clean, I've just cleaned it with the solution that it's gonna hold, right? Then I've realized I need conical flasks. So now I've got some conical flasks, right? So now I'm going to fill up the pipette with the solution now that I've cleaned it, okay? So I fill it up, fill it up, fill it up, and I actually realized that I didn't do it right this first time. What you gotta do is fill it up past the line once you've filled it up past the line, you should be able to empty it to the line. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm actually filling it up to the line rather than filling it up past the line and then emptying it to the line. But that doesn't matter. So I'm emptying it out now. You press and hold the E button and then you leave the tip of the pipette um, against the glassware until it uh, drains all the way through and you sit there and you wait until it does so. I think I'm talking to someone here. Okay, so remember I need to hold the glassware against the other glassware to make sure that I get all of the solution out. Right, and then that's that. Then what I need to do is I need to add in some indicator which was just suddenly appeared there. Right. So I'm adding indicators. You should add anywhere between three to five drops, but remember the indicator is a weak acid, so it will affect the concentration of the acid ever so slightly. So you should ideally use less 
um, in it. Right, you'll see that it's a nice shade of pink. Now I've got to go clean the burette. Get that out of the way. So now I'm going to use the NaOH to clean the burette. So first of all, I'm going to make sure that the stopcock is closed, right? And then I'm going to pour it in. I'm thinking about whether I should use a funnel or not, and I'm like, meh, screw it, right? But you should definitely fill it up below eye level, right? And so what you're doing is you're going to fill it up, not full, but only uh, with about 10 mils or so. Remember that the stopcock has to be closed, otherwise you're just going to pour it all out onto the um, floor. Okay, so that's about 10 mils. Now I'm holding it horizontal, allowing the liquid to flow up the burette, and then I'm going to rotate it a bit and then tilt it back. I'm allowing it to flow up. I wrote, Once it reaches the top part of it, I rotate and tilt it back. And then I do that again a couple of times, allow it to flow up, rotate and tilt back. Allow it to flow to the top, rotate and tilt back until you're satisfied that it's clean. All right. Once you're satisfied that it's clean, you've got to clean the bottom part below the stopcock so you release the fluid, allow it to flow through the, um, the burette, and then allow it to uh, flow through and clean that part. Once you're happy that that's clean, you can turn it upside down and empty it the other way, but you've got to make sure that you open the stopcock as you um, tilt it up so that you allow all of that fluid to empty out. All right. Then you go put it back into your burette stand and then uh, you realize that you need to refill it anyway so you probably take it out of the burette stand All right so you take it out of the burette stand you fill it below eye level you can use a glass funnel if you need to All right and so you fill it up 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 remember you should fill it up to between zero and five mils this first time you should fill it up quite high to zero mils because there's no solution below the stopcock, right? So that part there is empty, so you need to get your waste beaker out and allow it to flow through so that now it is full of solution, all right? So now I've got my burette ready, I've got my solution ready in the conical flask, I can start the titration, okay? Thinking whether I've got everything done, good, I have. So I put my conical flask Oh no, I'm first of all going to read that burette. All right, so you need to make sure that your eyes are at the level of the burette and then you should record it down somewhere. All right, you need to be recording the initial and the final volume, okay? Because you're using the initial and the final volume to get the difference between the um, two volumes will be the volume that is delivered to the conical flask. So you get your conical flask under there, you open the stopcock and uh, allow the liquid to flow through. Okay, now remember the first titration is a rough titration. So it means that you're very likely to add too much from the burette um, into the thing. Now I've got an idea about where I want it to go. It should roughly be a, 20, uh, a one to one ratio as to how much you put in. So I put in 20 mils uh, via the pipette into the conical flask and so I should put roughly 20 mils in, right? And so ideally it should be near there, but it's not C, so it's still pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit, add a little bit, add a little bit until it thing. Now, when I say a little bit, I mean like a short burst from the thing. So you can see my fingers there moving forward and backwards to opening it and closing it, allowing a short stream of it. All right, later on, we'll add in further titrations and subsequent titrations, we'll be adding, um, we'll be adding solution in dropwise. All right, however, you'll notice that I'm a bit confused because this is taking much too much uh, acid for it to change color, All right? And so I'm very confused about why it's taking uh, 27 mils instead of the 20 odd mils. And so therefore, um, that's the reason for the face, All right? So there's the first one, that's my rough titration. I got about 27 mils, which is way too much. It should be around 20. So again, I start filling up the pipette, get the next one ready. Okay, so I get the next one ready. Remember to keep the glass held against the other glass, add some indicator. All right, I've refilled it. I have to make sure that I read it. I did read it before, so I'm going to go add it slowly to there. And then I still didn't catch it at the right point, and that's why it's yellow. So I do it again, refill the pipette. Now remember, you'll be working in groups of three, so you actually be, one person will be doing the pipetting, one person will be doing the buretting, and one person might clean to make it all nice and easy for everyone else. Okay, you shouldn't need to fully fill the burette every single time, but make sure that you read it before you start the titration. Okay, if you read it before you start the titration, then you will not forget what it is later on. Okay, 
Now, when you rinse it, remember you should be rinsing it twice with tap water, once with distilled water. So that's what I did first, rinsed it with tap water twice, and then once with distilled water, getting more reagent, filling it up. Okay, I'm gonna do it a couple more times because I wasn't really happy with the results that I got. Pipette down, okay, so there you see I am taking it out of the solution and then emptying it um, to get it to the line. Then I'm adding more. Uh, then I go put it from the solution from the burette in until it hopefully changes color soon. And now it's adding drop by drop. And so that one was pretty good. It was 26.22. I was pretty happy with that. All right. And then I add need to refill. Again, read it at some point in time. Okay, so suck the pipette, suck beyond the line, then release it in down past the line or down to the line into the waste beaker and then deliver it to the conical flask. All right, this one here I should be pretty happy with. Okay, so I'm adding it little bit by little bit and then I got it to be quite close to there. All right, and those are all my results and that's it.